So here's a little video about how to make gouache. I'm gonna be using some calcium carbonate extra fine, some pigment dispersion, and some prepared gum arabic. If you want to learn how to process gum arabic, you can watch our quinacridone gold video. And I'll link it right here. So in this video, I'll show you how to make beautiful velvet matte gouache. Watercolors by nature are transparent. Gouache is made opaque with the addition of calcium carbonate. So here I'm gonna go ahead and do our normal watercolor recipe with some beautiful naphthol vermilion. Naphthol vermilion is an opaque color, which doesn't lend itself to transparent watercolor, but it suits very well for opaque gouache. So here I'm just mixing in the pigment dispersion with some dextrin to bulk it up. Um, this won't affect the color as much as the calcium carbonate will, and even if it did, naphthol vermilion is such a high tinting color that you'd hardly notice anyway. So here we are just mixing the dextrin in. If you really want to play it safe, go ahead and mull these things together. But um, the pigment dispersions are ground so finely that I don't really see the need to do so. Um, so that little scoop I added was of glycerin to keep it nice and flexible. And I'm going ahead and scooping a little bit away, just for comparison's sake, and I'll pour back some. So, calcium carbonate, champagne chalk, um, marble dust. It goes by many names, but it opacifies and mats out just about any kind of paint. Um, it's a great filler. It makes things slightly self-leveling and slightly stringy. You'll notice that the gouache kind of pulls into strings a little bit. And that I think brings it up to 50-50. Um, yeah, I love painting in gouache. And the best part about making your own is you can make tons of it. So I'm just making sure I got a good even mix. And now, here I am painting out the watercolor, which is beautiful and semi-transparent just because of the addition of water. La la la, looks so nice. And here's the gouache, beautiful and opaque. So here I'm doing a rub test to make sure none of the pigment rubs off on a dry paper towel and it's past the rub test. So there you go. A quick little guide on making some gouache. Uh, please leave any comments or questions down below and thank you so much for watching.